I am going to test BlueStacks 5 on my 10-year-old laptop, and the results are going to shock you. This is my laptop, and its name is Dell Latitude E6410. If you want, you can also look up its specifications on Google, but I'll provide you with the specs. Here you go. My PC currently has only 2 GB of RAM. and a small 2.40 G's processor. If we talk about the graphics card, there is currently no graphics card in my PC. Today, I will be testing BlueStacks 5 on this old laptop. If it works on my PC, I can guarantee that it will work on yours as well. So, let's start the video. The download link for this emulator will be available in the description below you can download it from there. When it comes to the size, it's 459 MB. Regarding disk space, you should have a minimum of 8 GB available. Now, let's move on to the installation process. The file is based on the 32-bit architecture. If your PC is 64-bit, you should download the 64-bit version. Extraction has started here, and it takes one to two minutes. I'll fast forward through this part of the video, Before clicking Install Now, you need to select the installation directory for BlueStacks. Make sure you install it in a directory with 8 to 10 GB of free space. The installation will take 10 to 20 minutes. I'll pause the video, and after the installation is complete, I'll record the video with a hand cam to minimize lag. So, BlueStacks has finally been installed. Let's launch it to see if it's working. I have a feeling that we might encounter some errors here. Here, our BlueStacks has crashed. If it crashes during the launch for you as well, you need to follow the next steps as I'll also explain the fix for it in this video. First of all, you need to close this emulator and end all its background processes. Now, you can relaunch the emulator and go into the settings. Inside the settings, you need to do the same things I'm doing. First, you should set the CPU cores to the maximum. After that, you should select 1200 MB of RAM. If you want, you can allocate more. Then, you'll find an option below. You need to check that option. After that, you need to save the settings and restart the emulator. After the restart, you need to go into the Graphics tab and select Compatibility. In the options below, you need to choose DirectX. Then, save the settings again and restart the emulator one more time. So, at this point, our emulator has launched without any crashes. Now, let's test some games. I'm not using the Play Store for game installation, because if I connect to the internet, the emulator might start updating, causing lag. That's why I'm installing some games using APK files. Here, the game has been successfully installed. Let's test it. And as you can see, the game is running perfectly without any lag. However, if you're experiencing lag with this emulator, I would recommend trying another lightweight Android emulator. You can click on the playlist on the left to find a variety of lightweight Android emulators. This playlist may be missing some emulators that I might feature in future videos. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. For now, goodbye. If you need assistance, feel free to reach out.